Hi, I'm Antoine Abu Samra. Welcome to this tutorial on the cut page in DaVinci Resolve. When I edit a short documentary, a trailer or a video, I have lots of footage that I need to go through and select from to form my initial timeline. The cut page is ideal to perform this task fast and efficiently. Today we'll cover some key features of the cut page, including four essentials commands that will help you build your timeline with your selected clips. They are the smart insert, append, ripple override, and place on top. I'm using DaVinci Resolve Studio 19, the latest version re released just a few days ago. If you haven't downloaded it yet, uh, even the free version has fantastic features that allow you to follow along with everything we'll be doing today. I'll leave a, a link in the description below for you to get the latest version. The cut page is all about speed and efficiency. You can easily switch to it from the icon at the bottom of the screen located between the media page and the edit page or you can use shift 3 to access it. Once you're on the cut page you'll notice the layout is very straightforward. I've already set up some folders with clips and created a timeline. In my first folder I have some b-rolls and in the second folder I have some interview clips. The upper right side houses your viewer and at the bottom you'll find the dual timeline. The upper timeline shows the entire clip whether it's 20 seconds long or three hours long, while the lower timeline provides a zoomed in view, giving you more detail on where you are and what clips you're dealing with. And the timeline, they follow just each other between the, the upper and the lower timeline. A very useful feature in the cut page is the source tape. You can access it from this icon that is here. And if you click on it, it will display all the clips from your folders in a continuous sequence which you can see under the viewer allowing to scrub through all your clips without switching folder this is a very very convenient tool especially if you have a lot of different uh, clips that you will need to go through it will speed up the process immensely uh, so now that we have some clips in the timeline, let's add another one. I'll start by selecting an endpoint, which is about here. So I want to press I to mark the endpoint. And I will scrub a little bit forward. So to scrub, you can use your mouse, you can use your uh, the key the keyboard. Uh, J, K, L, so J is to go backward, K is to stop, and L is to go forward. To select the out point, I press O, and now I want to bring that selection into my timeline. Now, I notice the small white arrow that is here, which detects the smart edit point. This will play an important role depending on how you want to bring your selection into the timeline. Let's look at the first method. The smart insert. By clicking this icon here or pressing F9, the mark clip will be inserted at the smart edit point and you'll see that your our existing clips that are in green and in tan and how the new clip which will be in blue is going to be added. So I'm just going to click, click on smart insert and you will see that the blue clip has been inserted between our green and tan clips where the smart edit point was located. So I'm going to undo this. Now, if I want to toggle between the timeline and the viewer, I can press Q to go back into my viewer where I will see uh, the clip that I've selected. So now if I just press F9, as a shortcut instead of clicking on the icon this is the blue clip has been added between the green and tan clip so this is how the smart insert works I'm just gonna undo that now the second method is append which basically places the clip at the very end of your existing clips in the timeline so make sure that you are on the viewer and press Q if you need to then click the append icon which is 
here next to the smart one and you'll see that the blue clip will be added at the end of your timeline so this is append now it and here is your blue clip you can also use the shortcut shift f12 to do this quickly now we'll undo this so it's command z to undo or control z on windows next is ripple overwrite which is slightly a bit more complex let's put now the playhead so it's above the green clip the small green clip when using ripple overwrite it will replace the clip underneath the playhead so i need to go back into the viewer mode which is by pressing q and i'm going to do the ripple overwrite which is this icon here which is after you have the smart insert append and then ripple override and when you click on it you will see that the green clip has been replaced i'm just going to undo that i'm going to place my my playhead over the tan clip and i'm going to press shift f10 so make sure that you are in the viewer mode so that you can take the selected clip from the in and out press shift f10 as you see the blue clip has replaced the previous one the tan clip and depending on its length it will adjust the surrounding clips to ensure that there are no gaps now we're just going to undo that finally let's look at place on top this command adds your selected clip on top of the current timeline essentially creating a new layer click the place on top icon which is here and you see the clip added on top of the upper timeline or you can use also the shortcut F12 and it's going to be added from where the playhead is and for all the length of the selected clip so that wraps up today's quick tutorial on the cut page while there are many more features to explore focusing on these commands will help you build your timeline efficiently so if you found this tutorial helpful don't forget to like subscribe and hit the bell button for more davinci resolve and video editing tutorials see you in the next video